Hey everyone, in this video we're going to talk about the Reserve Bank of Australia's interest rate rise for October 2022. Hey everyone, the data shows 80% of people watching my videos are not subscribed. It takes only 2 seconds, is free, and you can unsubscribe later if you change your mind. Thanks, now back to the video. So the Reserve Bank has elected to slow the breakneck pace of interest rate rises. With the 6th straight hike being 0.25 of a percentage point instead of the widely expected 0.5%. It is the first time since the RBA's initial hike in May that rates have risen less than 0.5 of a percentage point. RBA Governor Philip Lowe said the bank's board decided it was time to slow down a little and take stock. The cash rate has been increased substantially in a short period of time, he noted in a post-meeting statement. Reflecting this, the board decided to increase the cash rate by 25 basis points this month as it assesses the outlook for inflation and economic growth in Australia. The move takes the benchmark rate to 2.6%, although that is still the highest official interest rate in Australia since July 2013. National Australia Bank was the first of the major banks to announce it was passing on the rate rises in full to variable loan customers, effective from October 14. Westpac followed shortly after with a 0.25 of a percentage point increase taking effect from October 18. So far, the major banks have passed on rate hikes to their customers in lockstep with the RBA, although new borrowers have on average been receiving lower mortgage rates than existing customers. More rate rises are expected and this increase will add $74 a month to repayments on a 25-year loan of $500,000 and double that for borrowers with a million dollar home loan. Repayments of a half a million dollar 25-year loan have now risen by $867 a month since the first rate hike in May, assuming all rate rises are passed on in full. However, any borrowers hoping that the smaller rate rise would signal an end to increases are likely to be disappointed. The board expects to increase interest rate rises further over the period ahead, Mr Lowe emphasised. The size and timing of future interest rate increases would continue to be determined by the incoming data and the board's assessment of the outlook for inflation and the labour market. The board remains resolute in its determination to return inflation to target and will do what is necessary to achieve that. The Commonwealth Bank's head of Australian economics, Gareth Arid, was one of the few analysts tipping a smaller rate rise on Tuesday and he expects only one more ahead next month. We expect a further 25 basis point rate rise at the November board meeting, he noted after Tuesday's decision. From that point, our central scenario has the RBA on hold as they give themselves time to assess the lagging impact of rate rises on the Australian economy. The risk to our call sits with a further 25 basis point rate rise at the December board meeting, which would take the cash rate to 3.1%. Betis Shares Chief Economist David Bassanese said Australia was likely to keep falling behind the rapid rise of interest rates in the US, which are already 3 to 3.25% and expected to rise another 0.75 of a percentage point early next month. Given around 80% of local home loans are variable rather than fixed compared to only 15% variable in the United States, our economy is arguably also more sensitive to short-term interest rates suggesting the RBA needs to be relatively more careful in deciding how quickly to raise rates, he said. Westpac is forecasting the highest interest rate peak of the major banks at 3.6% by February, which financial comparison firm CanStar said would see repayments on a 30-year $500,000 loan go up more than $1,000 a month in less than a year.